Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome to the third part of the small talk phrase video. If you haven't seen the first or the second part, I'll put the link down below in the description for this video. Small talk is a casual conversation about unimportant or uncontroversial matters. These conversations can help you avoid awkward pauses, meet the right people or pass the time by sitting in a long line. In previous videos, we talked about weather, life, work, entertainment and common interests. Today, we're going to talk about current events and leisure time. Current events, another way of breaking the ice, is to start a conversation about the latest news news headlines or events that concern a lot of people. However, in case it's too controversial, you can just stick with the weekend plans and hobbies. Phrase number one. Have you got much planned for the weekend? A great phrase that you can use to learn more about people's free time since everyone loves talking about their plans for the weekend. For example, have you got much planned for the weekend? I'm going to the Little Big concert. Phrase number two. What do you like doing in your spare time? That's a great way of learning more about your conversation partner's hobbies. For example, so what do you like doing in your spare time? I hit the gym five times per week. And what about you? Срочное включение на Puzzle English сейчас проходит Черная Пятница. Скидки на премиум 75%. И это не все новости. Грядут перемены. Тариф премиум навсегда закрывается с 1 декабря. Это значит, что получить неограниченный по времени доступ к платформе будет невозможно. Кто успеет, продолжит учить английский без ограничений. Вместе с премиумом навсегда вы получите оксфордский тест на подтверждение уровня владения языком и другие подарки. Сейчас премиум на год стоит 2990. Премиум навсегда стоит 3690. Не упустите такую возможность. Подключайте премиум по самой выгодной цене. Another phrase. Are you planning on getting away for the holiday? A really cool question, which is appropriate for long holidays like in May or around New Year's Eve. For example, so are you planning on getting away for the holidays? I'm going to St. Petersburg and yourself. And finally, here are some examples of goodbye phrases. You can say, we'll catch up later. That's a good way to bid farewell to your close friend or someone you would like to see and have a chat with again. I have to go now. We'll catch up later. Phrase number five, I'd better be going. If you want to leave because you have plenty of things to do or if you want to give the impression that you are an incredibly busy person, this is your top choice. For example, I'd better be going. I have a gazillion errands to run. Another phrase, keep in touch. Keep in touch, okay. Use it if you would like to stay in contact with someone once in a while. For example, I have to go now. It was nice seeing you. Keep in touch. Another way of saying goodbye, take care. You'll take care of it. A universal departure phrase that can also be used in emails. It basically means look after yourself. For example, I'd better be going. I have a busy day tomorrow. All right then, take care. And on this note, our selection of small talk options is coming to an end. Feel free to hit the like button if you enjoyed it, subscribe to our channel and keep improving your English with Puzzle English. Love you and leave ya. Always yours, Kat Kenna. It's a party